If you remember, when the Supreme Court uh, rebuked the government about the Rwanda plan uh, and declared Rwanda unsafe, it didn't go into further detail. It didn't go into the detail, for example, about the killing of migrants, refugees, um, because it wasn't necessary, because the principle of reformment was enough to declare the plan unsafe. So now that the uh, Rwanda safety bill is about to go into the House of Lords, the uh, a former Labour Attorney General has drawn up plans to pause the bill to such an extent that it won't be functioning until after the next general election. Uh, the Lords are seeking to delay the ratification of the treaty until the government can demonstrate that Rwanda is safe for asylum seekers. Now, of course, President Kagali, uh, President uh, Kagame uh, in Kigali is perfectly aware that that isn't possible, which is probably why he has already said that he's quite happy to return the money that has been given and quite happy to call this nonsense uh, a um, uh, something that needs to be stopped because it throws it, it throws a spotlight onto the human rights abuse that has already occurred in Rwanda. It 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 arguably is going to uh, stop even the modest use of the Rwanda's um, sites by the UN and by others uh, as a holding centre for processing people exactly the same sort of holding centres which are being proposed in Albania, by the way, but not not what is being proposed by the British government. The British government is proposing that people are sent to Rwanda and stay there. That's a different order of detention. That is exile. Exile for what? For using the wrong route. Uh, it, it's, it's like going into uh, Heathrow and finding yourself in the wrong queue, and because you're in the wrong queue, you are uh, you you were sent to some other country. It, it's an extraordinary, it's an extraordinary claim. But that's not why the House of Lords is planning to delay this bill. Um, Lord Goldsmith is planning uh, to to get a debate scheduled for next Monday. Um, to to demand uh, scrutiny, to demand pause, and this is despite the fact that Mr Sunak claims that the House of Lords cannot frustrate the will of the people. The will of the people is not demonstrated in the Rwanda Bill. The Rwanda Bill is not part of the election manifesto of 2019 at all. It might be interpreted as being part, because it might be interpreted by extreme Brexiteers as part of get Brexit done. But it's only by implication and then at a stretch that it could possibly be, be considered part of the manifesto. The Rwanda situation and the Rwanda bill, the Rwanda proposal is a solution to uh, aspects of getting Brexit done. It is not part of the manifesto promise. Therefore, the Lords is not bound to push that through, but the, the Lords is not bound to honour uh, that arrangement at all. Um, the uh, Downing Street Press conference person has said, it's now time for the Lords to pass this bill. This is an urgent national par priority. Well, yes, if uh, Rishi Sunak can't get, um, can't get inflation down, this is the only thing that he does have control over, and this is going to slip out of his control. He's a very silly boy uh, because he's set up five um, promises which he is unlikely ever to be able to fulfil. Uh, I, I, I've said all along he should only have itemised three, and they should have been things that he could achieve, things that he had the power to um, manage. He can't manage them. They are be uh, simply by saying something doesn't make it happen. 
Uh, it is now time for the Lords to pass this bill. This is an urgent national priority. The treaty with Rwanda was signed and the legislation which deems Rwanda a safe country has been passed unamended in our elected chamber. Uh, there is now only one question. Will the opposition in the appointed House of Lords try to frustrate the will of the people as expressed by the elected House, or will they get on board and do the right thing? Well, the right thing is to, is to question the bill. And I'm sure there are plenty of people on the right of the Conservative Party who would want that bill further questioned. And there are plenty of people throughout the rest of the chamber who would want that bill questioned. It's only in the very small uh, group surrounding the Prime Minister that there is an idea that this bill represents, quote, the will of the people. And it's only uh, a <laughs> blackguard government uh, that claims it's doing the will of the people. You don't hear the will of the people being mentioned much except for people who are desperate in government.